One day, Thomas was in the shed where he lived with the other engines. They were all good, then Thomas and boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again, said Connor. He wants good engines like us. But the driver and fireman felt sorry for Thomas. Would you like to come out today? Oh yes, please, said Thomas. So they lit his fire and made Walter's demon Thomas puffed away. Choo choo! The other engines were very cross of being left behind. Choo choo! Thomas worked hard, hard all day. The trucks, the trucks thought he was funny. And the driver thought he was pleased. Thomas said, I'm going out again tomorrow. Thomas told the other engines that night, What do you think of that? But he didn't hear what he thought, so that he was tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Next morning, Thomas woke up to find out that nothing had changed. Connor still boasted. You watch me, little Thomas. Watch I rush with the coaches. That will be swearing to sight for you. Goodbye, little Thomas. Look out for me this afternoon, said Connor. Choo choo. Thomas went off to do some shunting. He likes shunting. It was fun with playing with freight cars. He liked to give him a push. They were stopping the silly freight cars would bump into each other. Oh, they cry, whatever is happening. Thomas played until there was no more trucks. Then he stopped to rest. Choo choo, he heard the whistle. Connor was crossed. Instead of nice shining coaches, he was pulling a dirty freight train. A Freight train, a freight train. He grumbled. The shame of it, the shame of it. Two, Thomas laughed and find some more freight cars. Then there was trouble. Connor get, can't get up the hill, said the driver. Can you take Thomas and push him, please? They found Connor halfway up and very quiet. The driver and fireman were talking to him seriously. You're not trying. I can't do it, said Connor. And rest your freight cars, pedal and engine. Good. Thomas's driver came up. We came to push. No use at all, said Connor. You wait and see, said Thomas' driver. They brought the train back to the bottom of the hill. I'm ready, said Thomas. No good. They pulled and pushed a hard as he could. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, said Connor. I will do it, said Thomas. I will do it, said Thomas. Kind Thomas puffed and pushed and pulled however he could. An armor before he realized it, Connor found himself at the top of the hill. I done it. I done it. I done it. He said proudly. He forgot all about kind Thomas and didn't say thank you. Thomas was left out of breath, but he was but he was happy. He was helping. In the next station, he found his driver and fireman were very pleased with him. The fireman gave him a nice warm drink, and the driver said, "I'll get out my paint tomorrow and give a new blue a new coat of blue with red stripes. Then you'll be the smartest blue engine in this shed."